A new dawn at Buckingham Palace. Flags lowered in national mourning return to full mast. Streets that played host to princes and presidents swept clean. But the memories are indelible. We now know that a quarter of a million people personally saw the late Queen lie in state. With 25 million in the UK alone watching yesterday's events unfold on TV. But some found that quite unexpectedly, the pageantry came to them. Yesterday was an amazing experience, like a personal show just for us, really. Simon, who filmed these pictures, lives on the final stretch of road before Windsor's long walk. Although it was packed, the crowds were kept away here. But his family, on the left, were virtually brushed by the bearskins. They just waited. They were kind of getting ready to go. So they were outside here for about an hour and a half, outside my house, all talking and chatting amongst each other. Memories of a Queen's last chapter to be handed down to our children's children, just as her crown has passed to a new king. He now has a week of private mourning, today heading for Balmoral, the setting for the previously unseen photograph released by his family in a final tribute to his mother in her favourite place on earth. Rachel Younger, ITV News.